Hello there, how is it going? Welcome to the tutorial series on mobile application development using Flutter. And in this particular video, we will explore App Bar. So App Bar is part of material design and can be used using a scaffold. If you are not very comfortable with material app or a scaffold, I'll highly recommend you to go ahead and look at my previous videos on this topic. I will also provide the link into the description. So let's go ahead and see the app bar. So as of now, I have created a bare minimal scaffold with app bar and body. In the body, I am displaying a text called Hello Flutter in the center. And you can see this Hello Flutter being displayed over here. And there is an app bar and empty app bar is displayed over here. So let's go ahead and see what all you can do in the app bar. Of course, the first thing first is that emptiness is not something we are looking forward for. We need to have a title in the app bar. So I can create a title as text widget saying that, let's say Flutter app. So here you can see that Flutter app is displayed. So instead of text, we can also give icon as a title. The choice is up to you. As of now, the title Flutter app is exactly at the center. If you don't want that, you can change the center title as false. In this case, it will come towards the left side. Again, it all depends upon your choice where you want to put the title. The blue background color is the by default color. You can change the color by using background color. And let's say I am giving a color red. And now the background color is red. So these are all cosmetic changes you can do in app bar. But there are many more things that is generally done on the app bar. Open any mobile app, there are various options in the app bar. Some of the options are some action items, right? If you have some button or text over here, you press that, some action happens. So those things can be added into the app bar using action. It takes an array of widget. So since it uses array of widgets, we can provide any widget inside this. Let's provide a text widget. So text, let's say A, B, C, D and text as X, Y, Z. Okay. Now you can see that this A, B, C, D and X, Y, Z being displayed over here. You can display some information like this sometime, but in the app bar, you don't want a simple text. You want some actionable items. To create an actionable item, we can create a flat button. So let's create a flat button for now. I will use a widget called flat button. In here, a uh, child, I'll say text, uh, for example, first. And on pressed action, I'll just print something in console. Um, clicked. That's all. And since I can have more than one flat button, let me create those. And let me name this as second. I'll say second clicked. Okay. So when I go ahead and do a hot reload, you can see that two button first and second is displayed over here. And I can just press it and I can see the output in the console window. Okay. Now the first and second flat button is getting the background color from the app bar. And if you want to change the background color, you can set the color property. Let's say color dot green in here. And for this second button, I'll say, let's say white. So if I go ahead and do a hot reload, these buttons are displayed over here, but it looks a bit ugly. This is not how we used to see the app bar in other apps. So uh, most likely flat button is also not a good option to be used inside the app bar. So what shall we use? Instead, we can use icon button. So let me remove this flat button and let me use icon button. Create an icon button, icon edge. I will use some built-in icons. Uh, let's say add a picture for this. And on pressed, I am not writing any handler. Uh, because I know how we can do that. And let me create another icon button with, uh, uh, let's say, remove circle. And let me go ahead and do a hot reload. 
and now you can see that these buttons are present over here and it looks much nicer than flat button or text or anything like that so most of the time you will end up using icon button for any actionable items in your flutter app and that's the reason why i shown flat button as well as text you can use anything but icon buttons are something that you are gonna use most of the time again it doesn't restrict you from using another this looks better at least in this particular app this is looking better but now what will happen if i want more actions for example i want uh, some six seven actions so let me just copy paste this i'm not aligning it but again it should be fine uh, something is coming twice i don't know why yeah maybe i have copied it wrongly but yeah let's see so let's just go ahead and do a hot reload you can see that lots and lots of buttons but this has pushed my title towards the left not even visible okay and this is not what we want so let me go back to the original one now what will happen if you want these kind of multiple action items in your app bar the best thing is to do is to create a pop-up menu item so pop-up menu item is something where you get three dots and if you click a pop-up menu item comes up from the app bar and let's see how we can create pop-up menu item i'll create pop-up menu item along with these two icon buttons i don't need to remove them you can have multiple uh, action bar items as well as pop-up menu items so let's see how we can create pop-up menu items so pop-up menu item is created by a widget called pop-up menu buttons okay and it, it takes a template argument where it asks what kind of pop-up menu items you want to create you can create a text flat button but in this case i want an icon button so i'll use icon button that's the way i create a pop-up menu button it has a handler called on selected this will get called every time a pop-up menu item is selected i don't want to have any action handler as of now so i'll pass null over here it has an item builder so basically this is a function where you can use dynamic items to create pop-up menu items but in here i'll just tell you how to create static items so let me just implement this function it takes a build context and in here you create pop-up menu items so to create a pop-up menu item use a widget called pop-up you will say return pop-up menu item icon button so as of now if i create an instance like this i can return only one item but i want to return a multiple items so i need to cover it inside the template and return a widget like this and in here i can create multiple pop-up menu items with the icon button and i'll create like this in the child i'll use icon button uh, i'll create any icon as again built in one choose something for example home let the on pressed be null in here also let's choose a button uh, what will it be let's say account ac unit for example and just give a semicolon because it's a return statement so let's go ahead and you can see that the pop-up menu item came over here these three dot represents a pop-up menu item and if you select the pop-up menu items will be displayed so these are the things you can do with the app bar where you can create some cosmetic changes, add some actionable items as well as add some pop-up menu items. So that's all for this particular video. I hope I was able to explain things in the clearest possible way. If you have any questions or queries, write it in the comment section. I'll try to get back as soon as possible. Thanks a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.